After our Aladdin unbox daily, we were left with all of this cool packaging. Genie, I'm ready for my third wish. I wish that you would give me an idea on how to reuse the packaging. All right. Whoa, I got an idea. You know, in hindsight, I should have wished for him to do all the work for me. We are going to make a room for our Aladdin dolls using the doll packaging. Start by pulling the layers apart to remove the glue and plastic stays. Recycle a cardboard box by cutting it to make a wall and floor. My back wall is 15 inches across. And I decided to keep this side piece on because we're gonna build on top of it to make our room. The plan is to create three different scenes. First up, Cave of Wonders. I cut the side jagged, then glue it to the floor. Begin cutting leftover pieces of cardboard to glue into the space to create layers. This is a great way to use all of your scraps of cardboard. Glue together a few layers to make a shelf and place them sporadically on the wall. Stack and cut several layers of cardboard. Glue them together to create height to make a rocky pedestal that we can place in our cave. Take tissue paper and school glue. Apply a small amount of glue to the cardboard. Brush it to make a thin coat. Tear a piece of tissue paper. Lay it on the glue, then brush it down. And you really want your tissue paper to get some good wrinkles. It'll give a nice rock effect. I work in small sections to cover the edges of the cardboard. Allow it to dry. While waiting, cut several layers of paperboard, stack and glue them together to make a board. Make another one that is slightly larger, then another. So we have three different layers going up in a tier. Take the top layer and sand the edges round. Stack and glue the different layers together. Glue wooden beads at the corners. Brush it with glue. Add tissue paper. Allow it to dry. Cut foam board. Stack and glue several layers together. Glue on a layer of felt. Cover it with fabric to make a cushion. Once the paperboard has dried, paint it with a metallic gold acrylic paint. Glue the cushion on top. Add pillows. I'm gonna glue a button on the end of this one to make a lounge for our princess. Once the paper mache has dried, mix blue and gray acrylic paint. Begin painting the cardboard. <laughs> Creating our base coat for the rocks. Take gray paint, lightly brush it over the paper to bring out the texture. Let's add a darker gray. Mother Nature is pretty random, so I am just sporadically adding color here and there to complete our dark cave scene. I think our cave could use a little bit of lava, pulling ideas from the original Aladdin. I paint the outer edge red, add orange, then yellow, blending the colors together. Take glitter glue, add generous amounts to the ledges in the cave. Sprinkle on a little gold sequins to look like gold coins piled up against the wall. So now we have our lava and our gold. Place the pedestal on the corner. Cut out the picture of the lamp from the packaging. Glue it onto a gold button to make a paper lamp to go in the cave. Add plastic gems. Cut a 12 by 13 piece of cardboard. Glue paper around the edges. I printed out a free image online of a cave. Glue it to the cardboard. Glue it to the sidewall with the opening so it looks like the cave goes on to another room. On the sidewall, take the garden packaging from the box. Trim them to try and match them up. Glue them onto the cardboard. Cut leftover foam board or cardboard 
cover with paper, glue them around the edges so it looks like a doorway. Take artificial plants, glue them onto the frame, string together buttons, beads, and chain to make a lantern that we can glue onto the cardboard right over the scene. We take the fountain from our How to Make a Doll Fountain video, remove it from the base to make it a little smaller, add a few flowers for a garden scene, turn it to the back side. We have a very shallow corner room. Cut a two inch strip of cardboard, cover the edges with paper, glue it into the space, take more doll packaging, glue it to the cardboard for an instant background. Make a few more lanterns to glue into the room. Place the lounge we made earlier in front to make a comfy place for our princess. Giving us three different backgrounds for play. Inside the palace, a garden with a fountain, and the Cave of Wonders. So we can have many adventures with Aladdin and Jasmine. We are going to take this Barbie robotics engineer doll. Wait. What happened to her? Sorry, this is a doll that was already out of the box. But no worries, because off with the head! When you're down and you stare out your window Hoping that you'll come up with some words to say That's not okay. Since I already had the hot water, I went ahead and styled her hair and gave her a gold headband. It has a star on one side, but we're gonna pretend like that's not there. I added a few gold details to the Disney Store's Princess Jasmine outfit. We gave her a few bracelets and a necklace. Use a push pin to pierce her ears to give her earrings. Giving us a made-to-move Jasmine. I love this project because we get to reuse the packaging. It's a free background and we get to recycle. Yay, planet! We made our Princess Jasmine using dolls and accessories we already had around our house. And when playtime is over, we can store everything in the Cave of Wonders until next time. Thank you for joining me while we made three Aladdin rooms in one project. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! We can never go back this road. We can never go back that way. I see you standing in the corner like it's okay. Don't you know that you move with your body? Don't you know that you move with your body? We wanna go on our own. We wanna go nice. We wanna give a shout out to Nigel Boss 5. What's up? All right, Abu, don't touch anything. You could take a look around, but we're just here to get the lamp. And there it is. Oh, oh, oh! Abu, no! Uh oh! And this is why you don't take monkeys on business trips. Let's get out of here!